I think zoos have a, a vital part to play. They introduce the animals to people. They allow us to become very intimate and close to the animals and find out more about their biology and to learn about how to look after them and how to manage them. But zoos are just part of the process. They're not an end in themselves. And I feel very often the zoo community tends to think that if it can breed a few endangered species, it's helping the world, it's helping conservation. Whereas in reality, that's just the very beginning. And I think that the zoo community have got to realize that if they want to make a lasting impact and help conservation, they've got to start developing techniques to put species back into the wild and to manage them in the wild. They are beginning to do that, but I don't think they're doing as much as they could do. And I think they've got to realize that the real purpose of zoos is to learn about animal management and then apply that to free living populations. My work in Durrell is to try and bridge that gap between captive populations and wild populations. Up until recently, and in fact many zoos still believe that the purpose for zoos is long-term self-sustaining captive populations, that we're going to keep them safe in cages and then one day in the future we'll be able to open the doors and let them go into the wild. That's not going to happen. When you keep animals in captivity for many generations, they change in biology, they change in their behavior, and I don't think it'll be practical. And I don't think that the idea that zoos are arcs and we're gonna keep them safe until the environment is ready and then release them decades in the future, I don't think that's realistic at all. I think it's gotta be more active interface between zoos and wild animals now, not in the future.